You're not going to find discomfort unless you're looking for it. You know, if you look at the way that I train, at the way I was training today, like it was nothing compared to what you guys have videoed me training before. Because mm. I'm constantly pushing for the greatest level of discomfort that I can find to just push myself that extra bit further. You know, he's telling me to stop in my reps, and almost in every set I'm doing more. And he's going, no, no, stop. And I'm like, no, I'm doing more. I'm doing because I want to push. <laughs> Christian's in the house. Hey, buddy. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. Come on. Are you doing legs again? I have no idea, but if he wants to, that's fine. I don't care. As long as he hurts me, I'm fine. I just want to be punished. I can't wait to see the replay. I can't wait to see what, what you create with the vlog. Show me. Um, yeah. Come on. Hey, I'm ready. How long is this? Ah, uh, 10 minutes. Okay, now I'll watch this later. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, that fucking hurts. I'm gonna meet Sebastian. This is Sebastian, Daddy's trainer. Can I get a high five? Ooh. And then I'm gonna put you to bed. And then we're gonna, Daddy's gotta train with Sebastian. Um, but you've gotta sleep. You gotta have a good sleep. Okay. Okay? But, but, but are you gonna take me to the toilet? No, Claire's gonna take you to the toilet. Is that okay? I want you. Is the disabled toilet working? Can he just uh, pee in the toilet? Like, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I'll be straight back. Oh, yeah. Fuck! He's killing me! Kevin already looks like a monster. Can you see this? Monster. Monster. Imagine what I'm gonna look like in 12 months with you, bro. It's exciting. More mobile. Yeah. Bitter. Second session. Very strong. Very gifted. It's a very quick learner, which is pretty rare. So I don't have to explain too much. Or just once. Issues. Um. No, I come here, you monkey. No! <laughs> you laughing at me? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Great. I thought, I thought first it vlog. Good. Like for a first Thank vlog, you. yeah. Wow. That's great. Um, yeah. Good. I was a bit nervous to be honest. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> um, I just feel like I'm running dry. Like it's so hard. Like I'm Googling the shit out of Google to find yep. people. LinkedIn's not working for you? Yeah, but that's a process. Don't, like, don't just look at your effort one dimensionally. You know, if you, yeah. cause you come to me in a month ago, we've got nothing. And I said, well, what's your strategy? Well, I did everything on LinkedIn. It's like, okay, well, did you try Twitter? No. Did you try Instagram? No. Did you try Facebook? No. It's like, well, yeah. How come? Find different ways. Because like, if you keep doing the same thing, because if you're doing what you're telling me, you're trying all platforms and it's not working, the question I'll be is, well, where's the innovation? Dude, you got to hustle. And you're hustling. But again, just make sure your expectations are realistic. Make sure you are innovating. Make sure you're not banging your head against the same wall every day and hoping it to be different. Yep. I'll let you know. All right. Nice cool. Work. This is good. Thanks so much. I think you're doing Go amazing. to the beach. I think you're doing <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh, right. It's been a whole week since I've been here. You guys got no videos? Wow. I've what have you guys been fucking doing? Do you want to chat? Oh, what about? Stuff. Okay. What kind of stuff? Yeah, no, I just want to talk about because I've been I've been really interested. Um, well, not interested, but confused. Because like, so about to learn something. About what's like what's going on now? The new dynamic in the in the um, film department. What I'm getting at is, uh, are we sending Jess up to fail? No. Not at all. I think <laughs> I think she's going to be a surprise package. Yeah, exactly. I think she's going to be a complete surprise package. She keeps saying, I want to do something more, I want to do something more. She has such a good eye for this stuff. It makes sense to me, but then 
all the insecurity comes up. And I'm like, but what if, if I was in nine days and I got put in that situation, would I act the same way? The decision to take me off like totally makes sense. I'm not mad about that whatsoever. Okay. But then like ego comes up and it's like, oh, but what's But maybe I should be mad. Exactly. And yeah. I'm like, well, no. Maybe I'm mad. Maybe I'm just saying I'm not mad, but I really am. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and so like, um, yeah. So like I'm, I'm fine with it. And I look at, okay, well, based on the growth that I had, mm-hmm. From going on the project it makes sense that if i was in your position it would be like well if i could have instilled that growth earlier would i absolutely so why wouldn't i put someone on earlier and then the other half of me is like okay that makes sense but you know i felt like there was a level of like i, I earned that you know well, no, no. i didn't feel like when i put, picked up k-day that i was being set up to fail Fuck no no you were, you like the way i see you you went k-day for you six weeks of high intensity training to find out not only where your baselines are, but where your ceilings are, break through those ceilings, create new baselines, find new ceilings, and you know experience new levels of potential, mm. uh, which you know you did in the spades. Yeah. Everything else that's coming up here is just emotional delusion, and you can now feel your insecurities coming up and going, "Well, fuck! What if she does a better job after nine days than I did after fucking nine months?" I'm concerned, I'd be stuck. Oh, your ego I'm... should be concerned because you're a young male who's finding his way and you know feeling out his own potential. And if there wasn't a small part of you that was a little bit threatened, then you, you wouldn't be a male. Like, I, it's just, I it's a primal thing. It's and cool. I think, again, don't, don't deny it because I can sense it. And to me, there's nothing wrong with it. A part of like, what if she's better than me was that was something that was like se- severely bad when I first started. Yeah. And that was something that I was like, okay, no, I'm going to sort that out. No, it's, it's like, I'm giving her everything that I can because I want her to succeed. And if she's she better will. than me, like, Fuck yeah. That's but she's awesome. never going to be better than you and you're never going to be better than her. You're, you're both going to be who you are individually. And I never measure, and this is the thing that maybe you don't understand, I never measure you against Maddie. I never measure Maddie against Johan. I'm never, I'm, not, I'm never comparing you against each other because you're all so unique and, and different in your own way. And that, even if she does do a great job, I'm not going to compare her against you. If she does a shit job, she's not going to be compared against you just because you fucking led the way. Because you did lead the way, you know, you've got to give give to Jess is she has done competitive athletics at a high level like she was a competitive dancer at a very high level Mm -hmm. so she's used to high levels of pressure she like and this is the thing I've already I've already profiled Jess she loves pressure she loves stress she loves to work hard she loves being behind the camera and she loves working the tight deadlines okay Um, those things weren't all the things that you loved when you first coming in here like so what what is the ultimate outcome for you from this conversation one of them was just seeing where, where your head was at with okay. Jess. Okay. Awesome. Okay, great. Seeing whether or not that was really about what her what her ability is and where she's at versus where I'm at right now. Nothing to do with where you're at. Like what you're going through right now is just emotions and your, <laughs> your emotion. And this is the danger of emotions. Emotions are what intoxicate us and it's when we're drunk we see things that aren't real. You know, we see things that are different from, you know, the, the intent or the reality of the way that they were delivered. Because mm. what I'd hate for you to do is, ta- is to take this enormous development that you've had and then go back mm. and not, not allow this performance enhancement, these upgrades to actually drive through into the rest of your work. Mm. That, that's the only concern I've got because I, yeah, I just would love to see you keep growing because to see the, the potential, and you haven't even, and this is the cool part, you haven't even scratched the surface. <gasps> Come in. Hey buddy. Mm-hmm. Come. Can I have a kiss? All right, go out there. Bye. Bye, buddy. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, buddy. <laughs> it's so f- fucking ironic that we're having this conversation. We gotta be, like, when we have people around us that, I'll give you the perfect example. Whenever I dated a girl, like when I was younger, if I ever had a fight, I used to be, have to be really careful what I'd say to my mum. Because if I, because my mum would always, to my mum, no girl was ever good enough. And she was constantly pulling down, constantly pulling down, constantly. And so if we ever had a fight, I'd go to my mum and, and my mum was always going, I said, she goes, I fucking told you, I told you. But she'd do it in a way where I'm supporting you, girl. And it, like, she, you know, it, she wasn't about, oh, I'm not against her now. Now I'm supporting you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The was Boom. And then that would be all the ammo that she, but remember when she did this? Remember when she did that? Remember, and like, she would use that as the ammunition to appear like she was supporting me, but she was actually attacking the other person. And she was correcting, it was her, her correcting behaviors, you know? And I've seen this also happen with other team members where they've gone home to their partners, they've had a rough day at work, and they've gone home and had a bit of a win, and then their partners have grabbed onto that 
and use that as a reason to protect them. But now they've got some proof, that, see, I told you. And so that's where we've just got to be super careful when we are emotional and we're discontent of who we express that to. Because yeah, no. if we're expressing it to herd members that don't support the herds that we're in, then it's just going to give them ammunition to try and fucking correct our behaviours. But it'll, it'll be like that, oh, that's exactly what I needed. There's no greater privilege for me than seeing someone grow. You know, I experienced it with Maddie, I've experienced it with Eric, I've experienced it with Marin, I've experienced it with Marie. You know, I'm experiencing it with everyone in their own ways. But it's when it's in a close proximity and it's intense, that's yeah. my juice. That's my juice. Like my juice is intense, close proximity, fast. Fast, fast, fast. You know, it's that high pressure, high frequency, high vibrational environment. Mm. And I just fucking love it. And yeah, I'm really honored to be on the journey with you, man. Thank you. I look forward to whatever the next, like, because I wonder how big it will be. Oh. Like, how big does it have to be to put me back what I was feeling? Like, when I was doing K-Day, like, I was, like, like really oh. fucking... And that's, that would be my question to you. And again, and this is where I don't want you to go backwards. Find it. No, literally, because you ain't going to find it if you're resting. You're not going to find discomfort unless you're looking for it. You know, if you look at the way that I train, at the way I was training today, like it was nothing compared to what you guys have videoed me training before. Because I'm constantly pushing for the greatest level of discomfort that I can find to just push myself that extra bit further. You know, he's telling me to stop in my reps, and almost in every set I'm doing more. And he's going, no, no, stop. And I'm like, no, I'm doing more. I'm doing because I want to push. But um, yeah, it's all perfect, dude. It's all perfect. I love you. Yeah, no, it's, the feeling is, is very mutual. And I'm going to take my son to the beach. Awesome, thanks. Uh, you're welcome, buddy. Yeah, we're going to scooter to the beach. It's gonna, it might be too late. To, by the time we get there, it might be too late for a swim. But what we can do is we can scooter along the beach to a restaurant and have something to eat. And we can eat a lot. Of... No. Okay. Can I tell you something? Do you know how long I've been asking you or telling you that I want to go? And you've been saying, no, you want to stay. But, 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 but I don't say no now. I know you didn't say no now, but look at the time now. Now it's four o'clock. Okay, here's the deal. Let's hurry. If we hurry, maybe we can still go for a swim. But we've got to hurry, okay? Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> we'll go for a swim. We'll make it happen. That's it. All right, see you, kids.